Hello and welcome to Mr. Nellinson's Neighborhood. I'm Michael Nellinson and this is my assistant Stacy, um, also known as Tester and Subject. I thought this might be an easy way to communicate the protocols for doing the test um, in such a way that we can keep it uniform and provide results that are very standardized. First of all, eliminate all other sounds, noises, distractions from the room. The test should be, if possible, done in the same place, obviously with the same subject, repeated day after day, if possible at the same time. Therefore, the variables are kept standard. Um, as you can see, my victim, I mean subject, is um, blindfolded and is sitting in this chair. Now it is important that we have the subject not touching any other part of themselves so there's no other neural information being assessed during the period of the test because crossing hands, crossing fingers, crossing legs are going to make it harder to prove what we're trying to prove. So we're going to start first with this series of touches. For the purpose of demonstration, toes number two, three, and four. Now, the naming in and of itself has a reason because it gives us something to associate mentally the touch and the naming. So the things have those things have to be constants. So first we're going to do a series of five touches where the subject is going to tell us which toe we are touching. Four. Well, that's four. Three. In the first five touches, ironically, the subject got two out of five correct. I personally am, a, you know, it is a little surprising how little knowledge we have of the placement of our toes. I suppose we don't deal with our toes on that level. So, now for the next part, the learning portion of this, I am going to prompt the subject and tell her which toe I am touching. So, Stacy, this is toe number two. This is toe number three. This is toe number four. This is toe number three. Once again, this is toe number four. Now the goal is to come back tomorrow and repeat the test in the same manner and check how the scoring changes over the period of days that we are completing the test. I guess that pretty much covers it. So all the best, 
if you have any questions, feel free to connect. And hopefully we can have some success with, uh, you know, getting some positive results. Thanks a lot. Oh, man. I don't know what you're going to do.